Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to The Wolf Among Us. You guys really like Jurassic Park the Game by Telltale. We've been doing okay with The Walking Dead, so I thought we should check out this other Telltale game, The Wolf Among Us. Now, I've played the first 20 minutes of it, or so, the first chapter, or sorry, the first episode of a chapter. Uh, it is a little on the darker side, so if that's not your thing, that's okay. You might want to pop off now. Uh, but this game looks like it's going to get pretty dark, a little dingy, maybe even a little scary, and explore some adult themes. So if you're okay with that, I'm okay with that. Let's hop on in and play this game. Now, it came out in 2012, so it is a little bit older, but the second one is coming out here soon, so I wanted to get this going. So hopefully we're done in time for the, the second game when it releases. So it looks like our first episode is called Faith. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay, I don't like that voice. We're not going to do that. We, uh, we don't need to be doing that. <clears throat> but we'll read this in our regular voice. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big B Wolf protects them from each other. So I suspect we will be Sheriff Big B Wolf. I think that's true. I would imagine. Why would they lie about that? I have no clue about humidity. All I know is I hate when it gets humid out. Ooh, I like the art style. Um, I don't even know how you would describe this, but uh, I like it with the, the hues of pinks and purples. Yeah, I like that so far. I mean, for being t almost t 10, 12, 12 years old, uh, the graphics are pretty good. The Wolf Among Us. Kind of like a... L.A. Noir theme I'm getting a little bit. Different graphic style. Ooh, that'd be another game we could go back and play, too. Uh, 400 hours gets you non-stop to the Bahamas on Oceanic Airways. Or Ocean, Ocean Airways? What was it? I can't read it. Might be Ocean Airways. Kind of in a slummy part, slummy neighborhood here. Let's see what Big B has to do. Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Toads. 251 Barreto. Oh, there is a toad. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out of the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Uh, we'll play. Let's, let's do a nice playthrough. No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Hmm. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell. Hey, hey, isn't that life in general? We're paying more for less. How much it costs to have an entire family in glamour. Not an idea. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Uh, I don't make the rules. Get it fixed. We'll go if I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Wait, I thought we just were. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. And there goes a TV. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there. Do something, Big B. Uh, what have I walked into? We'll just head upstairs. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Toad. And we'll go handle this drunk for you. I say, you want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Literally. Then get that fuck back inside. Ooh, okay, yeah, this is definitely going to be an adult-themed game, but I'm here for it, and hopefully you guys are too. Oh, this has definitely a different vibe than Jurassic Park and then, um, then, um, 
the Walking Dead game. We'll go ahead and pick these matches up. And that phone's already bothering me, so we'll hang that phone up. So I would imagine, just like all the other games, yeah, items might be useful later. So we might not use those matches now, but probably in like 10, 15, 20 minutes, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we'll be using that. Uh, so we could knock, or we could kick the door in, um, because that's what we're going to do. Wakey, wakey. Ooh, not going to do that. You've got something on your face. Uh, all right, why'd you hit her? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Um, let's go if you're drunk. We got some history or something. We're gonna get the axe again. Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down. Yeah. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> We've learned. Oh, we got right, here comes our quick actions. Oof. All right, and we're going to break that arm a little bit. No, just a little pressure. Uh, let's throw him into the sink. Oh, there's a scalpel there. That's not good. Okay. A little dodgy dodgy time. Down. Left. Right. Down. And a little punch to the stomach there. Oh, wow. Right in the sink. Woody, okay, his name's Woody. Uh, let's toss him into the bed. What little bed there is. Ooh, a knee right in the chest. Followed by a couple good punches to the face. Let's knock this guy out. Come on, Wolf. Believe in you. Uh, fine, let's go Let's go into the, the table over here. Uh, we'll use the bottle to smash it over his head. Oof. Oh, a toaster. Okay, some more dodging. And let's put him back into the table. And we'll go into the dresser here, or that shelving unit. Okay, you're not helping, Chica. All right, dodge that right in the knee. That didn't look healthy. Oh, of course, there's his ax. Woody, okay, Woodsman, I'm guessing. Something like that. He's got the flannel on too, that checks out. Another dodge. All right. Okay, we go Q reaction time here. Pull that towards us. All right, and let's. That looked like that was painful too. A little butt end of the axe into the face. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, Rick. Oh, Say that word again. Okay, yeah, duh. Say that word. <laughs> oh, did I say? And knock some teeth out with that kick. Oh, fucking shit. You bug my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. Um What happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. We saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Uh This is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Uh what's your, what's name? your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Mm. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. We started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid. Uh, oh, yeah, we're gonna throw him out. What did I say? I said be nice, or you wait out. <laughs> what a fall. 
Under the roof of a car. A stick shift car. Man, was this like 1960s? Jeez. Did they say a year? I don't think they said a year. Getting like 1960s, 1970s vibes from this? I don't know. Leave me a comment on down below what year you guys think this place is. Takes place and as Toad looks on in <laughs> astonishment. Give me a second. I just fell a story onto your car. We'll say sorry. Sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. Even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, he's definitely unhappy at me. All right, what do we got here? A little punch to the face, maybe? Now we're gonna choke him out. All right. Ooh, this one's gonna take quite a bit. Come on. Wow, that really took every- Oh, he bit us in the finger, that's what happened. Ow! Come on, Q. We got this. All the way around. Come on. Oh, is he trying to get us to change into a wolf? That's what he's trying to do. Come on, I can't- I am mashing this Q button. Come on. There we go, all the way around. Wolfy, wolfy time. What was that? Oh, she put the axe in the back of his head. Oh, he's gone. He's down for the count. Good for her, though. Lost cat, Pixel. How's he not dead? I mean, that's gotta be through to the brain. Oh, now he's dead. Okay. What are you doing? Thanks. Uh, we'll say thanks. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? No, no, we're not. But we did anyways. Great. Couple gold coins. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be. Fine. What? They must have some sort of like immunity to physical damage or something. Ah, uh, we're just gonna let her. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Oh, that looks painful. That looks really painful. At least Toad went back inside. Just come on. Oh, we got the matchbook. Give her the matchbook, Wolf. Come on, Bigby. Light her cigarette, give her the matchbook. We'll give her the matchbook. Some tension, if I've ever felt any. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Is that from a fairy tale and I'm just not recognizing it? I don't... These lips are sealed. She said that twice hey, now. You like my ribbon? Uh, I'm trying to help you. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them best that I can. Hmm. I feel like she's not lying on that line. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, he's gone. Did he take the axe? I'm assuming he grabbed his axe. Yeah, he gone. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Uh, we'll go if this is about Fable Town. About you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. <laughs> How much 
much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Hmm. Uh, oh, we got some money in our pocket. Okay, I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? <laughs> you got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet <laughs> me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Mm. You, know where I you live am. in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Why? Good to know. You should get Shall we be a little bit more concerned? And I don't use that term lightly. That's harsh. Tell me what you really think. Uh, tell me what you really think. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. Is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Aww. I'll see you around. Lol. So now we gotta go find the woodsman, huh? In New York City before he does any more damage. Get ourselves this last cigarette here before we go find him. All right, well, I think this is a, a great place for us to, to, whoops. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here and we'll pick up with that intro. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of The Wolf Among Us as we play the first uh, part of the first episode. Uh, like I said, it's a little grittier, a little darker than we're used to on this channel, but I think that's okay. Sometimes we have to have some diversity and play some different games here. You know, Mini Metro, pretty straightforward. This, this might be a little more interesting than that. So good, leave me a comment on down below if you've enjoyed it. Go ahead and give the video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion, and we'll see you in the next video.